So I have a really, really quick hairstyle for you guys. I made my own little concoction here of sea salt spray. You guys have seen me in my video. Me accidentally using one for blonde hair. Is this, oh, is this only for blonde hair? What? So I kind of wanted to do like a messy, like kind of like beach, almost like wet. Like have you ever gone to the beach, you know, drink a whole bottle of shampoo, passed out in the sun, and then you wake up and it's like, but I found that whenever I go to the beach, I normally don't really do my hair. Something about the salt water just kind of sucks all the moisture out of your hair. And I know I've done beach waves for you guys, but this is a heatless. My hair is not wet, it just looks wet because I put a little secret coconut oil in it. So here's what it looks like. My hair is really long. Now there's different ways you can do this. You can take a shower the night before, put your hair in a little top knot, and um, let it down the next day. Or if you don't have time, you can just get out of the shower, spritz some of these, scrunch your hair, and just walk out the dough all pretty. And it just really kind of accentuates how wavy my hair is. And the ingredients in mine is super, super easy. I actually put mine in a three ounce travel size per, per, per approved, because if you don't want TSA jacking your stuff, you better put it in a travel um, legal size. I have now become smart and invested in one of these. So my homemade sea salt spray contains three ingredients. The main ingredient is sea salt, organic coconut oil, and your desired leave-in conditioner. Now I prefer sea salt with this mixture, about one to two teaspoons or more if you'd like, one tablespoon of organic coconut oil, and my favorite leave-in conditioner, about one to two pumps. Okay, so I have just exited the shower and my hair is in a little turban. So my hair's been sitting in this towel for about 30 minutes, so my hair has dried up in the tops, you know? So I'll show you guys what my hair looks like right after the shower. My hair is naturally wavy and oh, I'll show you guys my new conditioner. I actually washed my hair last night, but this morning I just kind of redamped it because I had gone sweating balls at the gym. Here is my new um, conditioner. It's by Aussie called Total Miracle 7 in 1. I've actually been using this conditioner for about a week now. It actually makes your hair really, really smooth and really, really shiny when it dries. So I actually recommend like a high gloss kind of conditioner with this because the salt just kind of dehydrates your hair a little bit. So you want to have a little bit of shine. I'm just going to Ah, watch your eyeballs. The key to this is scrunching because scrunching is what's gonna give you that kind of texturized look. So this is kind of like my house chore kind of day. So um, I have plenty of time for my hair to dry and you can also do this the night before. Ah, secure it tight. If you have short hair, you don't need to put it up in a bun because it'll just naturally wave like that because of the saltiness. And if you have long hair like me, you can put it in a little top nut. Nut, nut, whoa! If you have long hair like me, you can actually section out all of your knots. Yeah! I'm just gonna leave it in these two little top knots, and to kill time, I'm just gonna do a few house chores. looks like two hours after um, I just kind of let it sit in more um, so this is what it looks like it's super super voluminous because I have layers in my hair it's only gonna get curlier for me because my hair is just naturally wavy super super simple you'll be surprised how curly your hair can get when you're um, doing this kind of like tousled look Ooh, give me a two piece of the sarong we're worthy for the beach man so yeah guys that is my quick beauty tip this is just kind of what I do on like days where I have like a bad hair day I just kind of like damp my hair and then put salt spray in it and the cool thing about it is that you could do it with short medium or long hair or even curly hair but if you have no boobs would you wear a bra no just kidding you can put it on curly hair or just make it like really like texturized so yeah you guys that is my effortless wet beachy hair look if you haven't already subscribed please do so right here in this box I have a bunch more beauty tips for you in the chan chan and thank you guys for watching